Hey you guys, it's your favorite real estate professional and entrepreneur, Andrea, with another video to educate and empower you. You know my mission, you know my motto is always to shift your mindset, help you acquire assets and buy real estate like a boss. So I get this question very often, so I definitely want to spend more time and emphasize it when doing our home buyer workshops. But the question is, what is an EMD, AKA earnest money deposit, and what is it used for? Great question. Earnest means serious. This is a deposit submitted by the buyer at the time of offer to show their vested interest in purchasing the property. Earnest money deposit is ultimately the difference between me, your agent, handing the seller or listing agent a contract or piece of paper saying my buyer is interested in the property and me handing them not only the contract, but a picture of your deposit to say, look, my buyer is absolutely serious about purchasing your home. So the question I get most often is where does the earnest money deposit go? Well, it is initially held with your title company, the buyer's title company, safely in their escrow account until settlement. So it really doesn't go anywhere until the transaction is closed. At that time, your earnest money deposit will be credited towards any of your final or closing costs. Depending on the type of loan you have and the terms and conditions of your contract, this earnest money deposit will go towards your final cost. This can include prorated taxes, any HOA fees or dues, whatever is negotiated that is your responsibility as the buyer, that deposit will be credited first to those fees. Sometimes there is a surplus, so if there is a difference or credit between your initial earnest money deposit and what's required of you at settlement, your title company will issue you a check for the excess amount. The same process works the other way. So if your costs exceed your earnest money deposit, you will then be required to add additional funds at settlement to facilitate and cover your final settlement costs. And I have a lot of NACA buyers, so I always like to make my videos NACA friendly. So these costs would be what NACA knows or has told you is called your minimum required fund. So when you're estimating how much will those be, you can determine that your earnest money deposit will be credited towards that MRF or minimum required funds. And it will give you a general idea. Remember, this is an estimate of what you will be required to pay out of pocket at settlement. So to reiterate and make it as simple and clear as possible, your earnest money deposit is your vested interest in your offer to show the seller that you are absolutely serious and invested in purchasing their property.